In this video, we provide an overview of risk communication and why it is helpful for reducing COVID-19 vaccination hesitancy and increasing vaccination confidence and acceptance. In the next few minutes, we will cover the definition of risk communication, its purpose in combating public health threats, and the importance of fast and effective risk communication for saving lives. So, what is risk communication? A popular definition of the term comes from the World Health Organization, or the WHO. The WHO defines it as the real-time exchange of information, advice, and opinions between experts or officials and people who face a threat or hazard to their survival, health, or economic or social well-being. To simplify, risk communication is about communicating the degree and type of risk associated with a given event to the public. For instance, public health officials and political figures engage in risk communication when they hold community meetings and press conferences to describe the dangers of being infected with the virus and the safety and benefits of the COVID-19 vaccines. The overall purpose of risk communication is to help those at risk understand the risk they face so they can make informed decisions to hopefully adopt protective behaviors. In the case of COVID-19, the most effective protective behavior would be to get vaccinated. Most importantly, an effective risk communication campaign can help save lives. In a public health emergency, slow, ineffective, or poor risk communication can result in greater harm to the public. Figure one is a simple diagram of an infectious disease outbreak with cases mapped on the vertical axis and time on the horizontal axis. The curve shows the increase and decline of cases over time. As the diagram shows, delayed or ineffective communication delays the opportunity for control and prevention. As a result, there is an increase in the overall number of people vulnerable to infection. In the case of COVID-19 vaccination communication, each day that goes by without persuading people to get vaccinated increases the risk that the virus will continue to spread and infect others, including vulnerable populations. In contrast, figure two shows a rapid and effective risk communication response and how it helps control, prevent, and reduce the number of people infected and harmed. A fast and effective response warns everyone, but especially at-risk people, and gives them protection and prevention information. This can help reduce the overall negative impact of the disease threat on people, society, and the economy. This control opportunity Preventing infection in our friends, family, and neighbors is a very direct and powerful argument for why rapidly communicating about a health threat or risk is so crucial. Once again, we can apply this response to the example of COVID-19 vaccinations. In short, a fast and effective communication campaign that persuades a significant portion of the population to receive a COVID-19 vaccine results in greater control over the virus spread, thus saving lives. To recap, in this video, you learned the definition of risk communication, its purpose in combating public health threats, and the importance of fast and effective risk communication for saving lives. To learn more, please continue to tune into our Communicating About COVID-19 Vaccine Safety video series.